Good morning guys, so today is Monday and we're starting the week off full speed ahead because tomorrow we're going to be attending Royal Ascot with long jeans and I absolutely love the race. It's going to be my third time attending and I just love getting immersed in the quintessentially British traditions. So really looking forward to it but day one, which is today, we're going to be shooting and filming for long jeans ahead of Royal Ascot tomorrow. So I'm going to quickly give you a little spin around the house because we're filming at home uh, just to show you what we're getting up to and what the team here are working on to create. I am also twinning up a vlog on Lydia's channel, so I'm not gonna vlog too much today. My vlog's really gonna start tomorrow, uh, but I thought I'd quickly show you just so you can sort of get the full understanding of what's going if you haven't seen Lydia's video. So yeah, let's go for a quick run around the house. So as we walk into the house, we're currently um, using the ensuite, which might have been cleared out now uh, to shoot something for Lydia, it has. So we were shooting in here, they've got a light that was coming through and then they had a light up here which was projecting light onto Lydia. She was shooting in the mirror and then we were filming here this morning and uh, we were using the mirror section to capture something there. And then this is kind of like the food area where people are just chilling out using it as the base, uh, having meetings about the creative and all the rest of it. And then through here is it's going to be staged up as Lydia's wardrobe, so as you can see, they've got the gimbal and the film crew ready to go, and uh, we've temped up one of Lydia's wardrobes, so that's going to come out really nice. And then the guys are actually currently working on my temporary wardrobe setup, which is through here. As you can see, they're very busy doing their thing. We've got the chair, the rail, the lights, it's all going on. So yes, this is... Um, I was basically getting prepared and getting ready for the big day. So hopefully it's going to come out really nicely. I'm sure it will. The team here have been absolutely amazing. So I'm going to catch you guys, as I just said, tomorrow at Royal Ascot. Good morning, everybody. So yesterday was incredible. We had a great shoot uh, at home with long jeans filming the kind of get ready stage for Royal Ascot. We had the most beautiful Bentley arrive. It was like a vintage Bentley and Lydia and I are in the back of it just like wow this is insane. But we've woke up this morning at the Four Seasons and it doesn't look too hot out there because I remember last year at Royal Ascot it was absolutely boiling and in top hat and tails it is quite the struggle. So the weather's looking very good for today but um, I'm just about to head down and get some breakfast. I'm not currently in uh, my uniform as it were but in true style, Long Jeans have dropped us off a lovely gift bag that's got some books in it and some information about the races today. And they've also gave us these absolutely beautiful tumblers uh, with the crystallized glass. It's one of my favorite things to collect, isn't it, Lids? Yeah. I, I'm going to enjoy uh, a fair few old fashioned in these. So big thank you to Long Jeans uh, for sending these out. These are amazing. But Lydia's just finishing off getting ready, as you can see in her towel. Uh, she has her hair to do, so she's not going to make breakfast. But there's no way that I'm not making breakfast, so I'm going to head down now, and then I'm going to come up and get changed into my attire. So we're just getting ready, and uh, I thought I'd quickly take this moment to show you a little bit about my outfit. So long jeans have kindly dressed me, and I went down to Healy and Sons. I've actually got some braces on today. They're more for like aesthetics than for actual function, because my trousers do fit perfectly. Um, but I just quickly want to show you this, because this is the first time I've ever seen this on a show. I think it's absolutely genius. So, Lids comes in a little bit. Lids is on the camera. On my button, top button on my shirt, it's something that I always struggle with is it gets extremely tight. Well, this has got an elasticated button on it. Oh my God, that's genius. Yeah, so it's really easy, A, to button up your shirt, and then also it keeps that flexibility. So you just get the perfect fit, and it's not too tight. It's not too, the, the elasticate is yeah. not too tight. So I want to show you guys that. Um, and also, I wanted to mention... You can see me in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> um, yesterday I did a little Instagram story asking you guys what I should wear um, fragrance-wise for the event. We had Jo Malone English Oak uh, to keep it quintessentially British. Well, I had the new Velvet Incenso or Black Velvet Incenso from Dolce and & Gabbana. And um, with a 60% vote, this is the one. So, yes, D&G Velvet Incenso. It smells like luxurious Italian velvet <laughs> fragrance. So yeah, this is uh, my fr fragrance of the day. So I do listen to you guys. So yeah, just thought I'd quickly drop that one in the vlog. But I'm gonna finish off getting ready, do my tie because we've got about five minutes head down and then I'll show you my full outfit when we're at the races. So 
So you will go in the So we've just arrived to Royal Ascot and this is the long jeans box for today. You've got the table set out ready for some food, it's absolutely beautiful. If I spin you around so you can actually see. Give us a wave. Hey! Look okay, there he is Michael. Our photographer for the day. Looking dapper. Yeah! <laughs> Good to see you mate. The gent. Like that. So this is the uh, table set up. Ready for food. Oh, there I am. I must be here. I must be there. And then we've got like a seated area with the watches being displayed, the record collection. Looking amazing. And we've got a live stream on the TV, what's going on downstairs. And then if we take a walk around here onto the balcony, we've got an insane view of the course. See the helicopters coming in as well. Unbelievable. Cheers. The hat is on. It's looking very high. It's the tallest I've ever looked. Oh, what a shot. Is it? So we just ride back to the Four Seasons Hotel. Absolutely love these hallways. They're amazing. The sun shining through is probably what's heating the floor. And I have just had a very quick freshen up and we've spun out into our evening outfits. So I've just gone into a very casual navy suit with a white shirt, very classico. 
and then lid's got. Is that a jumpsuit, babe? No, it's top and bottom. It's a top and bottom. So, yeah, we're gonna head back downstairs to reception to meet the rest of the long jeans guys. And then uh, this evening, we're gonna be heading to the Bombay Sapphire Gin Distillery, as I mentioned a second ago. Uh, so, yeah, very excited because I've heard very good things about it. So, yes, I'll see you when we get there. Yeah. Botanical garden, yeah. This is insane. So you can walk around the botanical garden lids and pick your gin pick toppings. Your oh, is, and then through there, this is gin stuff. We're going to learn all about this in a second. Wow. Amazing. Thank you. Mm, wow. Mmm. Very good, yeah. Thank you. And we have the welcome drinks. Amazing. And then we have helicopters called Story Gods. So we'll go up and have a seat. Thank you. Our first time. Cheers. Cheers. These are the distillery chambers. And that big pipe that going down is the water vapor traveling through. And then over here, that you can't really see, is a section that basically uh, removes the bubbles out of the gin. Otherwise, they'd be taxed for that as well. <laughs> and then this side where the guys are having the tour, there's some chambers that are used for waste, um, and that goes into other products such as like hairspray and fragrance and whatnot. So this room here is a room where you can work out basically what's your cocktail of choice because you go around, you smell all the aromas, and then you hole punch on a card uh, to work out which smells you like, and then they use that to create your very own cocktail. Very clever. Smell like candles? Yeah. Smell. Like really nice cotton candles. Oh yes. That's good. I need the whole punch. Can you whole punch six out for that me please? Like a, um, that one smells like um, like an autumn candle. Okay. So on this card are all the different botanicals and you go around and smell them. And if you like them, you can whole punch them out and then they can generate the perfect cocktail for you. Or at least a collection of... Wow, look at your watch in here. Oh, glittery. Shang shang shang. Nice. Oh, I've been recording this whole time. So, guys. This is my botanical card, as you can see. Um, the bottom left, citruses. I'm big on those. I've got only one floral in there. I thought I'd have had more. I'm not big on earthy smells. Um, I've only got one punched out on earthy smells. Spicy smells, I've only got one. And pine, I've only got one punched out there as well. So, I'm basically into my citrus, according to this card. Yeah, it's quite fun actually doing that. Like a test. The dinner will be served. At, at busy lads. <laughs> Woo! Ah, oh, yes. Is that what you got? One behind the back. Come on, I know you got it in you. Oh, no. Okay. So we've just got back to the hotel room, and that was a really lovely evening. I enjoyed that a lot. I thought that was really good fun actually going around the distillery and learning a little bit about the process. We did get the full down low on how to distill gin, but I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember much of it. But the whole experience was really cool and really fun and the meal was lovely. So it wrapped up a fantastic day. Uh, I always enjoy spending time with the Long Jeans family. So I do wanna say again, a massive thank you to those guys for being such great hosts. Uh, the hospitality is always insane. And we're gonna have a lovely night's sleep in this very comfortable bed here in the Four Seasons, uh, which again is amazing to be staying at because tomorrow I'm gonna to be heading into London for um, a day of recording stuff and doing some more worky bits. So yeah, I need to get a relatively early night's sleep. It's about 11 p.m. right now. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have, do give it a thumbs up and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.